Alright, now that we're finished with fucking around the goddamn cursors, you, know, you can see we have a fully defined sketch here, and I, the point I was trying to make, you know, anyway, about fucking around the driven fucking goddamn dimensions bug. Um, anyway, if you create a dimension here, like this, this is, you know, going to give you an overdefined warning. So, make this dimension driven, okay, and, you know, you can do that but it's just for reference because it's a driven dimension um, this is a driving dimension on the other hand so if I make this like 60 units okay it'll change the length of this this is only for reference you know as you became painfully aware with that fucking bullshit bug this program has and I guarantee fucking tea you it has others from what I've seen you know I have no doubt about that now okay now let's assume um, oh. <coughs> God damn it. let's assume on this dimension um, let's see you know that we wanted to go uncheck that okay now that gives us an overdefined error okay um, you know if you go click on this you know you can either go into the diagnostics you know which we covered before which gives you several possible solutions um, one of which is delete that dimension but you can also go into manual repair and cycle through them yourself you know, to try to find where an error like this is. So, you know, in the, uh, you know, the, the diagnostic, you know, uh, version is, was still left selected there. So, anyway, apparently that uh, did it. <laughs> so, okay, there we go. Okay, over to find, whoops, diagnose, okay, and you hit accept, okay, and that'll make it, you know, solve the problem. Now, let me make sure that my shit still works. Okay, it does, thank God. Looks like distance 17 should be deleted. So I'm going to select delete. Will you create geometry? And it's not a construction line. However, at a later time, you want to make it construction line. Well, you simply click on it, go back to property manager, and put a check mark in front of for construction. Close out of the property manager, and there you have your construction line. You probably notice all of these construction lines look like center lines. And if you recall, in an earlier lesson, when I cover the line sketch tool, I mentioned I'd be talking about the center line sketch tool in a later lesson. So let's do that now. If I go to the drop down for the line sketch tool and activate the center line option, the center line is nothing more than the line sketch tool with for construction checked. So when you go up to the screen, the center line is used for center lines or construction lines. Now we have one last method for turning existing geometry into construction lines. And that method is by going into the tools drop down menu, go down to sketch tools, and then construction geometry. Property manager opens, asking you to select the sketch entities, and then when you close out of the construction geometry, it takes that sketch geometry and makes it construction lines. Now, if you think that is a tool that you are going to use on a regular basis, notice it does not appear on the sketch ribbon, but it's easy enough to add. All you do is click the drop down next to Options, select Customize, go to the Commands tab, and then go down to the Sketch category, and there's our button. 
drag and drop it on the ribbon okay out of the customized dialog box and now we just added a new sketch tool called construction geometry to the sketch ribbon now that we covered chapter 2 sketching basics let's test your skills and as you can see this profile consists of many lines and many tangent arc in fact if we go to the feature manager tree and we edit the sketch and then view normal to the sketch you will also notice the sketch consists of many relations along with several smart dimensions. Now I would recommend that you view this sketch and try to recreate this on your own. And then if you have difficulty, return to this last line command. You can go back to the last point. I'll start the start dimension it, and at that point, I had a fully defined sketch. So let's begin by creating a new all of the automatic relations that were added. I was required to delete a few of them and then manually add the correct relations. Once all of the relations were taken, the line command. After I created the profile, I then sat back and looked at all of the automatic relations that were added. I was required to delete a few of them and then manually add the correct relations. Once all of the relations were taken care of, I then smart dimension it, and at that point, I had a fully defined sketch. So let's begin by creating a new part file, and then setting the units to inch, pound, second, and then creating a new sketch on the front plane. I'll start the sketch by going into the line command, and as you view the PDF document, be careful that you draw these lines around the approximate length that you see them dimensioned on the PDF sketch. So this one should be somewhere right around one inch long. And I'll pull this one over to the right, approximately one half inch. Let's zoom up a little bit, draw a couple lines here. And remember when you take your cursor... Oh god damn it. By the way, you can change the fucking units over here. 